All right, the nine it's days to go to the Delhi election and in two different parts of the capital, we have the BJP and the Congress upping the ante as far as the Delhi poll is concerned. Let's listen into the BJP first and then we'll cut across to the Congress vice president who is addressing a rally in East Delhi. कि आज से लेकर 29 जनवरी 2015 से लेकर 5 फरवरी 2015 तक जो चुनाव के प्रक्रिया से 24 घंटे का की अवधि के पूर्व होगा भारतीय जनता पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब से प्रत्येक दिन पांच सवालों का उत्तर चाहेगी ताकि दिल्ली को जन, दिल्ली की जनता को पूरी सच्चाई उनके मन में क्या है उनकी सोच क्या है उसके बारे में जानकारी मिल सके द दिल्ली इलेक्शंस the review meeting was held under the chairmanship of the national president of the bjp mr amit shah and to reference to of several questions being raised by the people of delhi it was thought that from 29th of january 2015 to 5th of february 2015 every day at a press conference the bjp will pose five questions to mr kejriwal and we expect a reply for him because we firmly believe that he has built up his campaign and has made an made an attempt to create falsehood in his campaign and the people of delhi deserve to know the answer to those questions hum jiske bare mein baat kar rahe hain ye koi anya vyakti nahi hai ये वही व्यक्ति है जिसने एक बिंदु पर आकर के अन्ना हजारे साहब को त्याग दिया छोड़ दिया अबेंडन कर दिया और इससे पहले कि मैं उन पांच सवालों पर आऊं इस व्यक्ति की पृष्ठभूमि देनी आवश्यक है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू गिव द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल हु क्लेम्स टू बी द सो कॉल्ड लीडर और हमें भूलना नहीं चाहिए कि ग्यारह मार्च दो को इसी व्यक्ति ने एक टेलीविजन चैनल में यह कहा था कि साहब मैंने यह बोल दिया है इस सेंटेंस को मत चलाओ
जिस तरह से सूत्रों से जानकारी मिली है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल का परिवार भी उसका मुआयना पहले कर चुका है सबसे अंत में वो नंबर हैं जो आप देख सकते हैं कि जो Uh, the sound was not very clear because there were some problems and there was a background music to it, so we couldn't hear it clearly. But this is just to add what has been there, what we want to substantiate. So, any questions, please? And one by one. Ah. Uh, after this, uh, there is a campaign song of the BJP, uh, made by, composed by Piyush Pandey and Rajkumar Jha. Music is by Pankaj Javasthi and singer Sahas Soham, Ajay Patak and Trika. This you will see after we complete the question answer session. Okay. Fortunately, the Bharti Janta Party has ministers, members of parliament, MLAs, and primarily all of us are members of the Bharti Janta Party. I can't help it if other political parties who claim to be in contesting the BJP, they don't have, and I believe if they don't have all this, then we can't be held answerable for going to the people with our own uh, members of parliament, MPs, MLAs. I think it's a part of the usual political process. Then you can hear it from the first time. If you think that you have heard it before, then leave it today. The rest of the people will leave it today. नहीं अगर आपको नहीं छोड़ दें लेट्स नो अगर आपको लगता है ये नए नहीं है तो आज आपने प्रकाशन में छोड़ते हम लोग फिर आपको कल और आपके दृष्टिकोण से नया बना के देंगे अभी दिल्ली के चुनाव पर बात कर लें Well, there has been occasions and a uh, couple of earlier occasions. Uh, actually, Bharti Janta Party believes in what we speak to achieve and do that. There has been a tradition of manifestos, there has been a tradition of vision document. The moment we decide what we are going to bring for the people of Delhi, we'll let you know about it. Yeah, yeah. Our friend. No, first you complete with me. No. First, you, no, Nadmila is there, she's not going away. I'll give it to her and then you can ask questions. I can't hear you. <laughs> but South Indians are not South Indians, they are, they are Indians first and they are in Delhi. So let's not put it in South Indian or North Indian. Pardon? St strategy is we are appealing to everyone in Delhi who is a citizen of Delhi, who is a voter of Delhi, that vote for BJP. And BJP is, the, is an option which is the best today. We have a government headed by Narendra Modi. We want a partnership with Delhi. And Delhi deserves the best of government because it is the national capital of Delhi. And I am sure... All right, Rajesh Pandit, deputy editor, now joins me on the phone line. Rajesh, as promised, we see the BJP top guns with all guns blazing against Arvind Kejriwal, posing the first five questions for today to him. Well, yes. Uh, the, today there was a, there was a review meeting, as we just told by uh, Rajiv Pratap Rudi, that there was a uh, first review meeting done, and uh, there the, the the whole situation was that the whole strategy was recalibrated, and after that it was decided that till from today onwards, till fifth of uh, February when the campaign for Delhi Assembly election will end, the BJP will, will ask Arvind Kejriwal five questions 
and he will have to answer all those questions. And uh, but but the fact is that when I asked him that you know what do you have to say about the fact that the BJP had to put a whole battery of cabinet ministers in almost 150 MPs to make sure that the situation or the result or the outcome of Delhi Assembly election is favorable to them, he did not give a clear answer. He said that just BJP is lucky to have you know so many people and well wishers working for them. But the fact of the matter is also that BJP has realized that the way election has been camp campaign has been conducted in Delhi, if until unless the whole of BJP uh, pushes forward in a unified style, the chances of them getting an absolute majority is, is very difficult. And to counter that and to make sure that they win this election, from today onwards, we will see witness every single day this is a press conference done by the BJP in which they will keep on asking Kejriwal five questions in which they believe that he will answer. Vedika? Also, Bridges, a lot is happening. You have Amit Shah talking tough to the top leaders ahead of the Delhi elections. You have these five questions being posed to Arun Kejriwal by the BJP top guns. You also have an army of BJP leaders descending onto the capital city ahead of the Delhi polls. Are these signs of nervousness? Well, absolutely. These are, these are clear signs of nervousness because if you remember, you know, all almost all the cabinet ministers have been pressed into service. Uh, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, who has to, you know, deliver an, a, a budget, a union budget on, on uh, 28th of February, you know, every single day he will, he will have, he will be spending almost two to three hours uh, every day at 14th month by the BJP Delhi office. Apart from uh, Arun Jaitley, almost all the cabinet ministers have been made in charge of uh, one district each and, and the whole level. 120 MPs have been pressed in charge to make sure that they stay connected with Panna Pramukh. It's a clear sign that the BJP is, 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 is pretty nervous in its approach and the BJP knows inside because, you know, we have spoken to several uh, leaders and on conditions of anonymity and they said that, you know, they feel that they have a very tough fight at their hands uh, when it comes to fighting Aam Army Party in Delhi Assembly election. And this is the reason why we see the whole planet of uh, senior leaders being pressed to make sure that BJP gets an absolute majority in Delhi. I will keep coming back to you for more, but that's the latest coming out. That's a two-pronged attack that we're seeing against Arvind Kejriwal. On one hand, you have the BGP top guns there on your screens, Rajiv Pratap Rudi, as well as Nirmala Sitaraman, addressing a press conference, posing five questions to Arvind Kejriwal. Not too far away, in another part of the capital, you have Rahul Gandhi, who today actually made the Aam Aadmi Party in Arvind Kejriwal the focus of his rally and address to the people of Delhi. Of course, nine days left. This is going to even turn uglier with more accusations coming out. And we will keep a keen eye on that development taking place.